course, it was powered off Macromedia Flash. <laughs> oh. Okay, folks, it's time for the HP Pavilion A747C to have its Windows XP recovery medium on the hard drive used to restore it once and again, uh, or maybe the first time, I don't know. So let's get started. All right, time to get this thing going. Hopefully the exterior case fan doesn't sound awful. It's got bad bearings, I think, and so it's on its way out. So I gotta get it replaced. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, it still sounds pretty bad. Yeah, I can't get it to stop making that sound. So we might just be out of luck. So spanning F10 on the BIOS does get it to start up HP PC system recovery. And I'm gonna go grab the side panel while it starts up, so one moment. Let's maybe see if doing this will mask off some of that fan noise. I mean, not exactly going to be a perfect solution, but it'll also help with the uh, direction of airflow in a sense. Yeah, it's certainly not great, but it'll have to do. Yeah, this is not gonna stop making that noise, so whatevs. All right, so we don't wanna necessarily do the standard system recovery that would back up the data files, as HP so calls them. So we need to go to advanced options and we need to select the destructive system recovery. Please click back up your data file before trying this destructive recovery option. See warning below. Warning, this destructive system recovery will reformat user partition on the hard disk, recover all applications, drivers, and the operating system in factory ship condition. Accordingly, all your personal data files, applications, including upgrades, revisions to factory ship applications that you install yourself will be deleted. Additionally, after disruptive system recovery, finish, leave reinstall, reconfigure any applications, including update, upgrades, revisions to factory ship applications that you install yourself. Your data files will need to be restored from backup. Not like I really care about that, but whatever. For continuing system recovery, please try the built-in repair features of Windows XP, such as the system restore and driver rollback capabilities, which I don't intend to use those. Yes, I will want to format the hard drive partition. So yes, I want to continue. All right, here, for the sake of sanity, because it's even driving me nuts too, and I'm sure it's probably driven everybody in the viewing audience nuts. Let me just do this real quick. I'm gonna unplug that fan so it'll stop irritating us. There we go, much better. back now that something else has changed my camera app on my phone crashed so it basically skipped half the recovery although you didn't miss much literally me turning on the camera now is when the scenery changed and when i'm able to pick back up again on the video anyway so let me get this straightened back out here so word of the wise for people uh do not run beta software on your daily driver because that's exactly the reason why but I am stupid and I take risks, so you know, it probably doesn't matter. All right, let's go and click on restart and let's start it up. Or, well, I guess not, I don't know. All right, never mind. We're back up and running. I don't know what that was about. It went to go reboot and then it stopped. Thought that was really quite strange, but maybe that could have just been Windows being stuck. I really don't know. Should I again though? Should just pick back right up where it left off.
for purchasing this computer from Hewlett Packard Company featuring Microsoft Windows XP. Wow, really? superior time zone, so screw anybody who says otherwise. Windows XP Home Edition, yes I accept, and yes I also accept down here. Do not turn on auto updates. Finish setting up your new HP Pavilion PC open internet access in the start menu. Thank you for purchasing an HP Pavilion PC. To learn about the exciting features of Windows XP, take the tour, blah, blah, blah. It's just Microsoft Gov, so finish. Let's see if we get one of those obligatory setup timers. Oh, it just rebooted again. Because I was going to say, I wonder if we were going to get one of those obligatory setup timers where it continues to install stuff and then it reboots after that. <laughs> Just restarted again, it looks like. No, it looks like it got stuck in that weird, eternally dead position. I'm not sure what that's all about. Because it, it just randomly, it looks like it's been getting stuck and then it just freezes like that. I wonder if that's just because of the caps by the CPU. I wonder if that's got something to do with it. As soon as I turn it back on, it seems like it starts working right away once again. But other times it's been really flaky. So, I don't know. Let me shut this thing off and I'll give it a couple of minutes and then we'll come back to it and see if this will finish off because that's uh, slightly annoying. All right, looks like I got it to come back up once again. I reseeded the RAM, so I'm gonna see if that helped with the system stability because I had to do that with... <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I gotta do it all over again because hell's broken. Damn it. Okay, slight change of plans. Um, unfortunately, I went to go start it back up and I got a Windows could not start because of the following system file being corrupted and it ended up being hal.dll. So go figure, of course, that corrupted itself as it was rebooting because of a black screen thing this thing's been doing. So I'm having to forcefully re-recover the system back to factory because hal is corrupted and that's kind of a difficult file to replace. So that sucks. So I get to do this all over again. Hopefully it doesn't do it again, because that would be super majorly annoying. I mean, I guess in all fairness, if this doesn't complete, I could just go take the hard drive to the A250N, because that thing works fine, and I could just finish the video there, but what's the fun in that, right? So hopefully this doesn't do it again. Okay, let me get the speaker on. Power on. I think we made it. I think we made it, boys. We've got a background. We've got an active desktop. To access websites or email, you must have an internet service provider in the usual Windows XP taskbar looking fashion. And now it cleanly integrated into the start menu. Woo, cool I guess. All right. Windows XP Home Edition, Service Pack 2, Pentium 4, 2.8 gigahertz and 512 megs of RAM. Surprisingly, we actually made it. I didn't think we would. Yep, as I expected, Intel 915 chipset. That makes sense for this era of machine, about maybe 2004, 2005, in that range. Very nice. We got a software pair wizard. We've got real player Norton Antivirus 2004. 
Uh, same background as my A1477C. We even got this goofy internet access thing, so I guess we'll launch that real quick and get that out of the way. Welcome. Let us help you in setting up the internet. The you can explore internet? services wow. from well-known providers or transfer an existing internet account. This program contains a catalog of tested services for your PC. Your first step is to refresh this catalog. The benefits of the internet are just a click away. To proceed, click start. No, what if I want to hit exit? Yeah, exactly. Please click the tabs above to see other service categories. Wow, really? We got AOL 9.0 optimized? Wow! The little guy's running around at the speed of sound. He's like Sonic the Hedgehog, except he's not. All right, HP Organize gives you easy access to files, programs, search engines, and websites. Click next for a demo of this great new tool. Well, I kind of don't have a choice. Welcome to HP Organize. HP Organize software gives you one-click access to all your favorite files, programs, and websites. Customize it to fit your needs. It's easy. Just drag and drop to add files and websites and organize them by category. You can even change the look to fit your personal style. In addition, listen to your favorite music or view videos and photos with the multimedia player. Use the search tool for both the web and your computer to find information you need. HP Organize, useful features in one great tool. Sophisticated little video, eh? Let's see if the tour continues or if it just sits here and plays this little loop. Organize, making your PC uniquely yours. High resolution icons, nice. Help her invent. Of course, it was powered off Macromedia Flash. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I think this computer's got some bad RAM developing. That's probably why that came up. But there we go. Um, we have the HP Organize Utility. Uh, if you had a compact Presario from around the same time period, this would be compact Organize. Everything would be identical otherwise. It's just the branding's different. We do have a preloaded iTunes because at this time HP was selling uh, iTunes compatible products like the HP iPod. So that would make sense that they preloaded on their computers. I believe, let's figure out what version of iTunes this is actually running here. If we go to open it up underneath the thing, um, sure, why not? I'm just going to do the usual baloney setup. We got iTunes 4.5.0.31, and it's branded as HP. And this is technically an HP product. Um, Apple made the software, but the sort of interconnect between the HP iPod was within HP. It wasn't actually within Apple. It was a whole different thing. You'd have to look it up online, but it's very fascinating. We do have a lot of software preloaded on here, like even more so than you would expect, but you do get Office 2003 Trials, uh, Works, I think this is probably Works 8 in some variant, Movie, Auto Producer, Norton Antivirus 2004, Norton Personal Firewall, uh, some online crap from HP, uh, InterVideo, Win DVD Creator and Player, because this does have a DVD RW drive, uh, a bunch of HP stuff for their, like their printers and cameras and stuff. I'm sure this probably came bundled with some friggin' printer and camera. Maybe they just preload that stuff on there. A couple of different shortcut links there. That's just Microsoft stuff. Um, there's the HP PC Recovery CD DVD Creator, which I actually wonder if somebody's already made the discs. Probably. Well, it's definitely taking a sweet time to load. Whatever. Definitely got a lot of free RAM, that's for sure. I don't know, maybe we gotta wait on that. 
Uh, but there's some other things in here too, like the PC Doctor and the updates from HP, which uses the old 2002 style icon. Uh, print me internet printing, quick in user edition. I think that's probably some quick in 2004 trial. Quick time from Apple, that makes sense because of the iTunes. Real player, Sonic Record Now, Spam Subtract, Spam Manager, and Spy Subtract, Spyware Manager. I'm sure those are definitely legitimate. Um, weather bug, I remember that. Uh, let's see, Microsoft Plus Dancer LE, Microsoft Plus Photo Story 2 LE, although this doesn't actually have plus loaded on it you probably could have loaded plus on it but in any case yeah that's about the lot with this machine i know it was probably a long and dragged out video but i well and truly i think this thing's got some failing ram and so i think that's been the cause of some of the trouble with this machine and trying to stay up on the recovery without it corrupting something or resetting at random so I think that's gonna be this thing's first stop is getting some new DDR RAM. It takes DDR 400 megahertz RAM, either that or this motherboard needs some recap jobs, uh, particularly the two bulging caps that are by the CPU. I'm not sure if that's entirely what's causing this, but it could be. But in any case, uh, yeah, that's basically going to wrap up this video. So if you like what you saw, well then you know what to press. If you didn't like it so much, well then you also know what to press. Get subscribed down below and click the bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. And with that having been said, I'm going to get out of here. So uh, before we do that, actually, let's just go and enable the standard Windows sounds just because I don't think they are enabled by default, including the address bar, which needs to be enabled. Thanks, uh, HP, for definitely not giving us a useful feature. Uh, in any case, um, see, so yeah, let me just go ahead and enable the sound scheme here if it lets me do that or maybe it won't i i don't know i'm not one to judge whatever not like it's that big of a deal so in any case um yeah until the next one thank you all so much for coming to watch and i'll see you later mm -hmm.